I'm just getting finished set up. I hope you all are having a great day. Today I'm working on a 12 by 12 canvas and I will be using my six ounce spouted cup. I will be doing a cloud effect pour. I've got all my colors here and the first color that I've got is from the Fine Touch. I've got uh, mixed two Thalo Turquoise and then from Deco Art Americana Premium I've got Deep Turquoise Hue and again I mixed both of those together. One was just a little darker and the other was lighter so I thought I would just combine the two and um, and get a little bit of an in-between. All right, and then I've got Thalo Blue, and that is from Amsterdam. Also, I have got Pink, and that one is uh, from the Fine Touch. It's just a, just a pretty pink, that's all. And then also from Deco Art, I've got Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. I really love using um, the Deco Art metallics are super, super pretty. And then I've got my new Cloud Effect Mix um, in this container here. It's um, with Vallejo Pearl Medium. And I just recently did my last video. I did a mixing video where I show you how uh, to mix it all. Um, so the link to, to that will be in the description. Go, so go ahead and check that out if you missed it. Um, you can see the consistency there of that. And I just um, put a little bit in a uh, smaller cup because it's too hard for me to dump out of that uh, bigger container uh, right here. So anyway, put a little bit in the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to turn it around and pour the colors down the spout there. Uh, it's easier because that's the way that I will be pouring back out. And I'm going to start with the phthalo blue first. I usually do when I do my cloud pours. For some reason, I have a tendency of starting with blue. And then I always put my cloud effect mix next. Um, now, the colors that are in the bottles that I'm using are all mixed with my regular pouring medium, which is Floetrol, uh, a Liquitex pouring medium, and water. And... The Liquitex is 50%, Floetrol is 40%, and then 10% water. And I've been using that mix for a while now. It took me a, a minute to adjust, um, and that's the, the mix that works for me. I tend to make it in like a gallon jug, um, and I have it handy when I'm ready to mix paints. I will just uh, shake up the jug and then start to mix up my paints. Um, so... I'm going to continue to fill up the cup and I um, just wanted to let you guys know that for those of you that are new to my channel um, and for those of you maybe that aren't new but don't know, the cup that I am using is my design. Uh, I had used a few cups in the past and I just really wasn't quite happy with it so I decided to design my own and it is available in my Etsy shop. I have a quad cup, a triple, and a regular split and they do come in 10 ounces as well. Um, I just love this cup. I've designed um, some other things as well so if you want to go ahead and uh, check out my Etsy shop the link will be uh, in the description for that as well. Um, I'm just super excited about um, doing the 3D printing and designing stuff. It's really, really fun. Um, so I do enjoy doing that as well. And also, I do have a Facebook group. Um, we're over 18,000. We're close to 19,000 members. So it's super, super fun. Um, I have a great group of artists all kinds of experience levels from brand new to years of experience. Um, very helpful group. If I can't answer a question or I don't get to the post right away, somebody's always there to give helpful advice. So go ahead and uh, check out my Facebook group, um, Acrylic Pouring with Friends, same name as my YouTube channel. All right, so I'm about done with, um, I do have a, um, just to let you know, in the in my cup, I do have a notch at the bottom of the spout. That's where the six ounce mark is. I also have one in the 10 ounce that tells you where to stop um, 
you know, filling it up. That way the, the cup doesn't get too full and the paint doesn't kind of like rush out of the um, spout. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna go ahead and start pouring and you can sit back, enjoy the music and see how this develops. And I'll be back in a jiff. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you the front of the cup really quick. You can see that there is no paint going down the front. It stays right up at the uh, spout. You don't have to worry about trying to see what's going on because your paint is dripping down the front. That is one of the reasons why I designed this cup. All right guys, I promise I'm gonna be quiet. I will let you finish watching this and I'll be back in a few for the dried photos. All right guys, here we go with the dried photos. And I love cloud pours. They are my absolute favorite technique, just from a straight cloud pour to a kiss pour with cloud effect. That's probably my absolute favorite. I'd love to hear what your favorite technique is, so let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys are new, if you got anything from my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a great time to do that. Just click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell. That way you're notified when I upload new videos. And one way that you can really, really help me out is to share this video. If there's somebody that you know that may like it, go ahead and share that with them. Um, it really really does help my channel out and I appreciate it more than you know and if there's any questions that you guys have that I didn't cover uh, you can go ahead and leave your questions in the comments also I do have a, um, a bunch of information in my description box so don't forget to check that out if you just click the down arrow it will open up the whole description and I really have a bunch of stuff in there I have uh, links and um, my recipes and my colors, everything is in there, so don't forget to check that out. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my video today. Hopefully you found some useful tips that you can use in your acrylic pouring journey. And I have a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy as well. And I will catch you in the next one.